A recent controversy involving Bayo Onanoga, the special advisor to Tinubu on information and strategy, he made a post on his X platform that sparked outrage, accusing His Excellency Pitobi of questionable actions. But is there more to the story? His post on X reads, and I quote, P2B makes case for Yahoo Yahoo boys. Incredible. He could use one wrong to justify another. What a leader. I'm chasing young boys with computers and say they are doing Yahoo Yahoo people. When people are stealing the billions which we have as a government. Why are we wasting our time? Why are we doing that? Why are we chasing young men all over the place? I can assure you that all the money that young young people have stolen in one year, in one year, is not up to the amount of money that has been stolen in government in one day. Bayo Ananoga should stop this propaganda. His Excellency P2B clearly condemned Yahoo boys, but made it clear that the government does worse and are not getting their priorities right. This is not 2014, and we will not allow you and your cohorts to deceive Nigerians again. To provide context, here is the full video where P2B addressed the issue. Let's listen to what he actually said about Yahoo Boys and the government. I manage public money judiciously. And I know that we can achieve something better if we manage our resources more efficiently. If we have people who care about this country, look at where we are today. All we hear is bad news. People say we can't. I said it in Pastor Tommy's birthday. Is that we have a country or the criminals take it over? If we have a country, let's declare war and have that country. Somebody must be in charge. Is that us for criminals? How can criminals overrun us? I've been a governor. And I said it, anybody who can go and see it in Alhambra State. I told them, is either them or me? One person must have the space. And we dealt with it. Why can't we deal with it as in Nigeria? Why are people occupying our waters and everything? Today, we spend more time chasing young boys with computers and say they are doing Yahoo Yahoo people. When people are stealing the billions which we have as a government. Why are we wasting our time? Why are we doing that? Why are we chasing young men all over the place? I can assure you that all the money that young, young people have stolen in one year in one year, it's not up to the amount of money that we stolen in government in one day. I have been an insider. What we want is those who are stealing our public money. I'm not encouraging anybody to steal, them, but we will deal with those who are stealing our common Resources first. Let's catch them first. They are the ones causing us problems. They are the ones who have a lot of money without productivity. They are the ones causing them from inflation to high rate of exchange. Because they have billions without productivity. Let's deal with it. We're not dealing with it. Today is our last. Today we have resolved to continue in this direction where we are. We cannot stop. Please do not stop. Do not say, it is all about me. 
I'm not desperate to be president of Nigeria. I'm desperate to see Nigeria work. We need to make it work for everybody. There's no reason why there should be poverty in northern Nigeria. God gave them everything. Nigeria can make more money from agriculture in the north than we make from oil. I say it every day and I compare every state in the world. I've said it before several times. You heard me say it. The richest state in America is California. That's not where they have the oil. It's in Texas. Texas is about third or fourth. California is eight times, nine times Nigeria at 3.6 trillion GDP when we are 400. It is agriculture and knowledge before oil. We have 70% of our fatherland in the north all cultivated. The north is the engine we can use to turn around Nigeria. We need to invest in the north. There's no reason why people in Borono, there's no reason why people in Kebi, people in Niger, people in Kogi, people in Benue, they have no reason to be involved with hunger. Because they have all it takes to feed nations all over the world. Nigeria has the best yam, but the biggest yam exporting country is Ghana. Now they say we should go and import food. Import from where? Is it Ghana? We have, we have no yam. What do we eat? The only thing that is available outside is the rice. Are we going to invest? Nigeria is supposed to be the highest producer of cassava. But we are not the greatest export. Are we going to buy it from people who come and buy here and export? Now they said that our problem is to close the border so that food will not go out. No. Our problem is to produce more have enough to eat and the sports and earn money. And it is easy. It is not rocket science. You have all sorts of funny policies here. They say our nurses can't even go out. Our doctors can't go out. What are you talking? Indians did it. They produce more doctors, more nurses. Cuba is doing it. Let's produce big school, school of nursing in every local government. Produce nurses, ship them to the world. Have enough here. And those who ship to the world will help in bringing what? The needed money. Foreign currency. And it's easy. When you see these things happening, you ask yourself, what is happening here? At times, you feel maybe you're wrong. So you have sleepless nights. I always say, Pastor, I wake up most times at night and ask myself question. Are you wrong or right? Well, because I've been in the private space. We have shared these corporations. I've been in the public space. So I can understand what is happening. And I always say, I have the best experience for the job. I'm a trader. So I know what the traders suffer. I've been in the corporate world. So I know what the people in the corporate world needs to, because there's also problems there that needs to be fixed. And I've been in public space. So I know what is wrong with the country. And we can fix it. There's nothing in it. Countries after countries have generated power, simple power, power, is sophisticated in Nigeria. A company like Egypt, from 2015 to 2021, moved their power generation and distribution from under 20,000 megawatts to about 50,000. Today, Egypt is exporting power to Europe. Nigeria is still quarreling with those of things. These are things.
things you can fix that can make your country to become productive. Today we are saddled with people telling us it is about revenue. We don't have enough revenue. How can you have enough revenue where 80% of your people are poor? Revenue is a function of productivity. The more you produce, the more revenue you make. Can you go to market and without anything to sell and people will pay you? You have to have something to sell. It's only in Nigeria people want to go to market without anything to sell and come back with money. We cannot continue in that direction. My dear people, today is the day of thank you. I thank you the obedience. I thank you those who supported us. I thank you most sincerely from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of those who have worked hard. That's what prof. Everybody is here to thank you. We remain sincerely grateful. People might tell you Oh, he has not come to see me. He has not seen me here. He has not done this. Please, wherever you are, if we have not seen you, know that I'm kneeling down and saying to you, thank you. You were, you were great. You are great. You are one of those social things that happen to humanity. We will soon embark on tour to say thank you to people. And to urge them to understand that we've not reached the end. It is not the beginning of the end. It is ending of the beginning. We've just begun. We will be there. And don't think that if anything I always say to people who are private to me, don't think that if anything happens to Peter Obi, no, it's not about Peter Obi. It's about all of us. So if they think they're going to take one person away, the rest will continue. In fact, they will have motivated them to continue. Because we must continue until we dismantle the criminality called Nigeria. We cannot continue this way. People who genuinely want to do business are suffering. People who genuinely want to do good things are suffering. When people who are selling, when thieves are living in affluence, it cannot be. Nigerians are dying by rice. Because they say rice is cheaper. So they now went to buy rice and there was stampede and Nigerians died. I cried over it. Buying rice. They were not trying to struggle for gold. It was rice. Nigerians can't get food. Nigerians can Everything is scarce here. Yeah. Even what God gave them is scarce. They can't travel by road. Nigerians are paid. 30, if you're lucky to get a job, 30,000. At the time, when one egg is 200 now. At the time, pure water is. At the time, a bottle of Coke is how much? Let me assure you, you are the ones making this speech. Is not me making this speech again. You are the one making this speech. But let me assure you. One of the things that brought French Revolution was bread. I hope people know. 
They said they want their bread. The queen said, why can't they have cake? And they now realize that those who are in charge don't know what their problem is. Those who are in charge in Nigeria don't understand our problem. And we must dismantle them. God bless you.
Yeah, we can't continue. 